Hey, yo, 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 everybody. Generic B here. Hey. Generic B here, and welcome back. Ooh, that's not what I want to do. Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Vanilla. Here you are, pal. What are you doing? Making so much... Did you just wink at me? Oh, no, it's a glitch. <laughs> I was like, hey, I'm spoken for. Come here. Get dead. Get dead. I'll take you. Thank you. So, a lot has been going on. Um, I wanted to talk really quick, uh, just kind of bring you up to speed on things. Uh, Etho pranked me with chickens. Thank you. Which, I love chickens. I mean, who doesn't want a bunch of loud egg-laying chickens all around your place when you're trying to sleep, right? I mean, look, eggs throwing all over the place. Why not? Why not? Perfect. And uh, he gave me a little obsidian in the form of a roadblock on my door and right here, the jerk. <laughs> That's Etho. We'll have to get him back. Um, I think he's busy working on the death games at the moment. But as soon as he gets a place that he can hang his hat, I'm going to take the hat peg off of the wall. <laughs> um, also got a ender chest. And you may wonder, how in the world did you get the eye of ender? Oh, because you need a blaze rod. Nope, there's villagers, and we did some trading on the live stream, and I did that. Uh, I want to talk about the live streams really quick. I'm having a blast doing them, and uh, you guys are coming out in droves. I think we've had uh, over 11,000 people watch at one time, which is completely nuts. Uh, there's Doc. Doc is doing his thing with the villagers. I cannot wait, Doc Land. I cannot wait, man. He said he's selling them, too. I will buy villagers, baby. There's this little machine over there. If you want to see more details, go check out his, uh, go check out his uh, video on it. I'm sure it will be up shortly. Um, the uh, Let's talk about live streams. <laughs> uh, I have been having such a great time. You guys have, too. Um, it's getting to the point, though, where I am... I am streaming a lot and loving it. And if you haven't watched me, twitch.tv slash generic B. Um, if you follow me, it's completely free to follow. Uh, you'll know whenever I go uh, go live. And so you can watch me. Or you can follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash generic B. And it will let you know as well. Uh, so, the, so the good news is having a great time with you guys. The bad news is, it's I'm streaming like four hours at a time every night, and I used to just kind of chop that up and put it up in bite-sized pieces on YouTube, but I can't really do that anymore because it's way too much stuff. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload it pretty much in full uh, early in the morning, and we're talking like maybe 6 a.m. Chicago time, and that way, it doesn't really interfere with the other episodes, other videos. And if you guys missed the live stream and you want to see it, you can watch it there. Um, if you've already seen it, no big whoop. It's not really taking up any other any other spots. So I think that's what we're going to do. Hope you guys like that idea. Um, let's talk about this. Uh, I started working a little bit on the foundation of this, and I'm liking where it's going. Uh, we're going to... Let me show you. Let me show you how it works. I've, i There's two problems with this thing. Uh, one of them is was a is a multiplayer problem, and one is a uh, it was just a, a me problem. Uh, the first problem is when you cast a cast a fishing rod. The lag between, or should I say, the delay or the latency between the server and the client is just slow enough, even on really great servers, uh, there's just that little bit of latency where you throw the rod and the rod goes out and the the little bobber will, will catch this little guy up here, the little string, um, close the door, but as it's closing, you've already fired off another another rod, so or another cast. So it's just like a never ending. It does work. You can sit there and find just the right spot and you'll catch it like every tenth time it'll finally work or or more um let me see that i've been fishing 
Look at that. Ho oh, oh. ho. Oh, ho oh. ho. Yeah. Ho oh, oh. ho. Um, so that's the first problem, and I'll tell you how I fixed that. Um, I'm using a auto script. Now the way it works normally, you can go into your controls, controls, and you can set your use place block instead of your mouse, you can set it to any key. And then you hit like, you hold down, let's see if we can do it. Um, options, controls, let's make this like Y. Done, done, back. So that will make it do that, right? Um, let's do, let's do this. So I'm holding down the Y key. Y, 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 right? Um, I think if you hold this down and you hit F10 maybe. No, uh, I don't think it's F11 because that will minimize me. Huh. I'm going to try it. F11. Yeah, there we go. So I've hit a F11, and now I've let go while I was holding down Y, and it's just going. So that's that's one cheaty way of doing it. All right, I'm full screen. Back into full screen. Hey, stop it. Okay. So that's one way to do it, and that's that's typically how people do the automated stuff. Um, so the way I figure it, if you can do that, you might as well run a macro uh, to it, to make that same. Oh, I gotta go, I gotta put it back. Controls reset done. Uh, you might as well make a macro and do it. And so I'm using thing. I'm using something. I think it's called AutoHotKey.com, and it's just a little thing. You write a script, and uh, so now all I have to do is hit Control Alt P, and you see how it's a little bit slower. And you need that little bit of slowness to compensate for the uh, for the delay between the server and the uh, and the client. Works great. Otherwise, like single player, if you have a single player world, this thing works fine. Don't even worry about it. Um, so I don't really consider that cheating, especially since these things are meant to be like, have some kind of macro type system to, to have it run. Uh, the second problem I was having was when you stand on this thing and you get your, you get your fish back, this door does a little open close thing and this dispenser or dropper will uh, will shoot out a, uh, a another fishing pole. Even if you stand right in this thing, that dropper takes precedence over you. And so you would never get the fishing pole. It would automatically just go into the dropper and then go back into this whole system. The way I fix that is the line that fires off the dropper. So you can see we got those. Oh, wow. I've only got three in there. I wonder where they all is be. Oh, I thought I had a lot more. Someone's been using this, maybe. Um, so the uh, so the line that comes down also now it snakes down here and goes into that hopper. So at the time it spits it out, it also locks this hopper so nothing can go in. So it'll go into your inventory first if you have space for it. So that is how we do. Okay, enough of that talk. Uh, uh, uh. Who's it, just me and Doc? Me and Doc. Okay, I tell you what, we're gonna work a little bit on this fishing thing, just like everything. I've, I, when I do my builds, I like to make sure I work on them in, in creative to get them just right. Um, I am going to, I have got a screenshot that I'm gonna put on the other, uh, on the other side. I usually do that and I can't believe I didn't do it. Um, but I'm gonna get it all set up and I will be back after a quick Commercial break. Ah, the sunrise in the middle of the rain. <laughs> um, so yeah, I tried to see if uh, Doc would sleep, but he must be AFK, so no problem. Uh, all right, so want to do a little bit. Let's start with the. Let's see if is that a good jumpy? Yep. Let us start with the dock back here first. Uh, just gonna do a little bit over here because what I wanna do, I wanna make it to where this is uh, a little bit functional. You know, we can sit there and if you don't wanna auto fish, you can just come over here and, and do a little bit of fishing as well. Um, so what I'm gonna do, let's pop a couple 
bad boy right up there for safety. You got to make sure this is OSHA compliant. Look at you, sucker. <laughs> Look at you. Get out of those. Get, that's an animal pin. Stupid. Uh, let's grab a drop. Do I have? Yes, I do. Gonna make us a dropper. If only I had cobblestone. There we go, perfect. And this is going to be really just for a little bit of storage. Um, so we're gonna come over here and I'm gonna put a dropper, see if I can do it. Uh, can I be a boss and do it like that? Yes, oh yes. So this will be like uh, just a little place where you can put you know, your fish or your uh, uh, you know, extra rods or whatever. I actually should probably put like a, a little clay pot on there to make it like a cozy, uh, beer cozy or something like that. Drink cozy. Are you, are you seriously going to try to get up on me? Are you seriously? I'm, I'm working. Uh-huh. So, and then put a little guy right like that. And a dude just like that. And we've got one of those cool fishing chairs. Usually they have these chairs on the back of boats uh, that you strap yourself in for the big marlins. But I think that would be pretty cool. And I could do something underneath here. Yeah, you know what, let's... Uh, I can't do one over that, I don't believe. Nope, because it takes it, but that's fine. I can put one right there. That works. That's cool. And that's still, that's not gonna bother anything at all if we're down here, which I gotta make a nice little way to get under here. But if I'm sitting there right there, yeah, no problem. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's get out of here. Now for the sides of this thing, uh, I wanna give it, I want it to be like a little bit of some bright color. Uh, but at the same time, I want it to look a little bit worn down. Did I hear a skeleton? We all fine? Everything good? Panic. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to use, I could use just this red sand because it's nice and bright. But watch what happens. Like if I, if I sit there and make this like this, I'm going to start, I'm getting in B-dubs mode right now. You can see, boy, this rain. You, hey, there's problems with chest, dinner bone. Every time you get near a chest, you, you go into convulsions. Uh, it just looks kind of flat, right? And even if we put, I'm gonna put a couple like that. It just looks a little bit plain Jane. And so what I wanna do with that then is we're going to have a shovel. I will even use it just for you people and I will throw my torches on the ground. Instead, we're gonna just kinda do a bit of mix and match, okay? So this acacia wood goes really nice with it. And so we may like do a little couple like that, throw in a couple here, and up one. This'll be some sand and, a, oh. Sand and sand, give me you. And let's see, let's let's look at it from over here. Yeah, see to give it that little bit of like a weathered appearance, this should be some, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna go wood, wood, wood. Yeah, yeah, sand sand, and then up here is going to be wood. Huh. Just like that. Oh, baby. Let's look at it. You guys may hear my voice. It sounds like, uh, hey, where'd it go? Did I not put, did I not put a piece of wood up there? What? Oh, hell! Oh! Hit by lightning! Whoa! I was not expecting that. Okay, you're there, right? Okay. Oh! 
<laughs> oh man, that gave me a genuine heart attack. I love it. This is very nice. I sure wish it wasn't raining. I sure wish good old Doc Young was not AFK at his place listening to villagers make sweet, sweet love to each other. A little bit of uh, some business like that. We'll probably snip some grass and throw it down here. Oh, I may have a bone meal. I do. I have a bone meal. We'll go like this. Kapoom. Perfect. Just to give it some going. Oh, ho, ho. I like. I like. I like. Now we're going to start with a tad bit of the roof now. And let's see. If I did this, I want to put it like there. Ba Boom. I like that. I'm going to give it. Can I not get any closer? Get a little closer. Huh? I'm going to put that right there. And we're just going to make, this is not your, not your typical roof for this type of stuff. Um, but I love doing this type of roof. We're going to go for the, the gradual slanted roof. Uh, and we will go like that. Perfect. Just like that. I cannot believe I got struck by the lightning. <laughs> oh, we done we done wrong. Hmm. Oh yeah, we've we have done wrong. Let's fix this. This is not a problem. I know how to I know how to handle this. We're gonna go down. And then we go like this. This is perfect. And I actually might as well jump on the roof while we're here. Do a little business, have this go like that. And then the final one, we're gonna have it go out. Yeah, is that right? Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we're gonna go all the way around like, what happened? Hey, no. I have ladders. Let's climb up, make make things happen. What happened there? That's crazy. Look at me climbing ladders like a man with tools. What happened? <laughs> it's like the what was that movie? Uh, shoot, was it was it Dog Show? What happened? There he goes. Well, I'll be. Let's just take... What? <coughs> what? I don't... I don't really understand what's going on right now. Oh, that's so jacked up. That's so scary. Good thing we're not doing any, like... Whoa! Super dangerous work. And what? That'll go out one pass. Okay. So then we'll do the same on the other side. Right? Make go on down there. We'll we'll replicate the the whatchamacallits, replicate the uh, the walls and everything. I'm gonna take these guys out. Cause we don't need them. Even though I have a shovel on me. Forget it. And then I'm gonna fill the rest of this stuff in. We're gonna make it in cobblestone. Not your typical roofing material. But it goes really well with the <clears throat> with the browns, the dark browns, and the orange orange walls, in my opinion. Oh, I better I better eat something before I die from falling off a fishing hut. That would be cool. Generic B has died by falling off a fishing hut. Alright, let's get rid of this guy. This little tower here. Tower of power. Man, listen. I sound a little bit like Barry White. And then we're going to tear down this tower of power. That's going to be great. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that, huh? And then if we take... Let's grab some... Let's get some of this bogus stuff out of my life right now. Oh, I got shears. Hey, how about me? Uh, and I should have... Here we go. 
some of these. We're gonna make some shutters. The old tried and true. I need, I need eight of them. Whenever you need shutters, I would guess probably four times as many people, at least, use trap doors as shutters than as actual trap doors. It's, they might as well just call these things shutters, <laughs> right? Oh, that's looking nice. Look at how sweet that is. Now, I know that does pop up a little bit. That's no problem. We'll cap it off and everything will be good. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, tell you what, I am going to get the rest of this kind of sorted out and uh, maybe hack up a lung because <clears throat> me, 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 me. Red leather, yellow leather. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get it all done, and uh, I will return with the finished product. I will be right back. All right, I've got quite a bit of it done, and I honestly could not be happier with how it turned out. Now, I still have a little bit of, like, interior stuff to do and some other things. I'm going to talk about that in a second, but are you ready? Awesome. You know me. I love little, uh, little, uh, like, uh, pixel art type of things. And I did this shark, but hanging from a rope in the old, uh, in the old mansion. I thought it would be awesome to bring it back and make it a little happier. So I did it out of quartz and I made it into a sign. And it even has, you can barely see. But it even has like the little signpost behind it to hold it up so it's not like looking all weird. Right? So cool. And got little, you know, your typical little buttons and fence posts and things. Oh, yo, Anders! And whatnot, little door. And uh, so this I'll cover up with carpet right here. And probably is very small inside, but that's fine. Um, I think I'm gonna put six chests here and probably have them like regular chest, trap chest, bump, 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 so they're individuals and have little signs because this will be a shop, very small shop. Uh, and I'm thinking it'll be like, um, you can get regular fish, puffer fish, um, rods, bows and arrows, maybe some enchanted uh, enchanted books, name tags, like any, any good stuff that you can, uh, uh, that you can get from from fishing. Now, the one thing that I am missing is now I've I've ruined my way to get down here, <laughs> which is kind of important. Uh, I might I might actually do something inside because if I let's let's try this. If I knock this guy out, oh, perfect. And it's right there. I can just take a couple of, let's actually, let's try that. Since I'm, since I was here, please use the word sensuous in a sentence. Since you was here, you might as well try it out. Uh, so if I go, uh, like that, I can put a trap door right over here and we'll go down, stick another one just for, just for funsies and let's put Let's put a couple torches in here. I'm a little bit, a little bit precautious just for the mow. And uh, yeah, 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 this is perfect. We can have a little maintenance door here to come in in case we need to, you know, go in in case someone's derped it up and clogged up the stuff. Uh, otherwise, you can come in here, go right in. But I mean, look at all this stuff we could sell. Puffer fish, you know people are gonna wanna buy some puffer fish. Uh, now the next phase of this, that I wanna do, this is perfect, this is gonna work out great. The next phase of this I wanna do is, uh, I'm thinking all of this goes into this chest right here. Uh, underneath it, I will probably put two filters. Um, one, f like uh, two fil hopper filters, one for raw fish and one for salmon. Uh, because you can cook those, and I'll have those go down one more level and go into a auto cooker, and uh, and then maybe like so while you're, you know, while you're sitting there like doing your thing, fishing, fish comes in, goes into the cooker, and I'll do something hopefully where it'll check and see if I have at least eight, and if it does, then it'll dump them all into the chest 
or into the furnace. Uh, and then maybe I'll have it go into a little, um, uh, like a little dropper elevator once it's done with the, uh, the fishies and puts it into a chest up here. So you, you sit there, you AFK, when you're done AFKing, you go, you check out and you go, ooh, look at all this stuff I got. And then you go over here and you go, ooh, look, I got, oh, I may even be able to hopper it right back into there. Maybe, maybe, we'll figure it out. Um, but then I, I can at least go, oh yeah, I got food. It's already cooked for me. I don't have to worry about it. Life is good. <laughs> oh man, I am so jazzed by this. Um, I will make a very nice little windy path going around in here and have it go right up into my fishing shack. I'm so jazzed. I'll probably put maybe a tree or something uh, just so it makes it a little more natural. That's probably something I might do on stream, just kind of purify everything around here. Oh, hope you guys enjoyed. This one took quite a while between designing and building and stuff like that. So if you did appreciate this video, leave a like. It helps me out. I'm barefoot. Helps me out tremendously. And until next time, Ipsy Gamer, take care, brush your hair. I'll see you when I see you. Peace.